Hi, and warm welcome to a Quantum Astrology Report with me, Ivan Christofferson, for the period 13th to 15th of June 2018. We have a new moon, the 13th of June, here in late Gemini at Orion's Belt, 22 degrees, 44 minutes in Gemini. And as you hear, I have a cold. I was really releasing a lot this weekend, a lot of fear. So <clears throat> I will try to make a concentrated report. Uh, be kind to yourself if you have uh, physical challenges, other challenges. Now it's very much up to the surface and leaving us. And that's the catalyst to the new age. That's the ascension process. So that's to take deep, deep breaths and really hold on to your spirit and truth and trust. So for the new moon, the 13th of May of June, I will draw a rune. Um, this one, that's Fihu, that's abundance, that's great, to manifest and to be and to give. We can see what my book says. Uh, it's the... Freya at the fertility and the love that gives abundance. Uh, and this talks also about the price to keep the situation that we have paid. So, and uh, I'm coming back to that. So, and for the new moon also, and the, this is a very manifestation moon. I draw a quantum tarot card. It's this one. It's nine of, um, let's see, it's under there. Nine of wounds. That's a, uh, Nice image, isn't it? Nine of Wounds. Have has to be pulsar, a pulsar uh, indicates burnout. The old soldier who keeps fighting long after the war has ended. What old habits has what old habits have outlived their usefulness? What old habit has outlived their usefulness? That's the new mode at Orion's belt, the Orion Wars. That we now leave. We have to leave the old fighting masculine energy to not create that anymore, to step into unconditional love, divine feminine. And Mars is now at the South Node, very powerful for a long period, several months here, bringing all this transformation of the divine masculine energy up to the surface. And this unconditional love It's, it's really like that. We got to get to, to, to see that everyone is a catalyst of ourself, uh, a mirror, we mirror ourself and, and all that triggers us that these problems, small or big, is helping us to see ourselves. But when we see that and when we are in unconditional love. 
we can't stay. We need healthy boundaries, energy boundaries around us. So we can't stay, for example, in a relation that is full of violence or uh, mistrust or control. We are getting free by giving unconditional love to ourselves. Giving us so much love that we can get that mirror back. And also giving ourselves so much love that we can have boundaries around ourselves. I don't need that experience anymore. I don't need that controlling person anymore. I am free. I manifest that now. And this is the full moon now. Exactly the full moon. Step, step out of the outer war and get into this manifestation with own energy barriers. And that means also that we can't mess up with three-dimensional people anymore. Yeah, we can, but that's really suffering, really suffering. So we have to leave those relationships and still have unconditional love, but we can't be in that old system of fear and control and violence. So manifest your light now. You have, we have this North Node in, in Leo. Shine. And Venus is coming up there with the love. Shine the love you are. So we shall see where... Mm -hmm. Sorry, I have to get my shot up. Mm -hmm. Here it is now. Here. This is for the new moon. And the new moon will be the 13th of June, 9.43 p.m. in Sweden. That means that it's 3.43 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. So, <clears throat> and it will then be 22 degrees, 44 minutes in Gemini. You see, and those magical numbers giving this synchronicity, activation of our DNA inside us. When we observe and note that these numbers are special. And they are, they vibrate in a special way. So they activate parts in us. And you don't need to be an astrologer to listen to my report. I give a lot of, of facts to then give the interpretation, but you don't just listen and take in the vibration, the frequency, the love. So 22, that's the quantum master builder. Master manif manifestation of dreams. Master manifestation of dreams. Now this new moon. And 44 is the quantum master protector. Protector of ourselves, our energy. So we can be free. Not giving that power away in any sense freeing ourselves with help of others stepping out of every violent uh, fearful experience to be in that unconditional love of fourth and fifth dimension and to have boundaries to the people that still are in the third dimensional experience so <clears throat> this is a, a big one and we have an inconjunct to integrate with Pluto here so and Black Moon Lilith. So and Black Moon Lilith uh, that's the female divine feminine that was suppressed and sent out in the desert and that's the Kundalini awakening power in us to get this Venus Eve going the love, and we have the, this powerful inconjunct aspect with Pluto here, really, really changing things. And Mars at the south node, 
transformation of divine masculine, but also just to be that power that you are, take action inside and out. Take the steps, do the things you always longed for. Do it. It's time now. It's manifestation time now. And we have Chiron to heal here in individual wounds here in areas the quantum I am to create. And Chiron is in a easy flowing aspect to Venus here, trying and to the North Node. And Venus's North Node is in conjunction. It means that it's really to step into our shine royal light of Leo and with the love of Venus. And when we do that, when we step into that, we heal our wounds, our old wounds. And Uranus is also in aspect with Venus, a 90 degree square and the North Node. And Uranus is the oversoul of Mercury, and Mercury is in opposition to Saturn here. And Uranus, it's uh, the trigger of the ascension, the enlightenment, the lightning, the electromagnetic, and the electric, the photons, that's the divine masculine. And now we have also an opposition coming up with between the divine masculine and divine feminine. And divine masculine, that the electric, the photons, and the magnetism is the divine feminine. We have these dualities we have to heal between light and dark. To bring the zero point in, the zero point feel. And that's when we bring these polarities together in ourselves then we really can get things going. And Uranus is now like this. So <clears throat> that's uh, the new moon, the 13th of June uh, at Orion's belt. The last new moon was uh, the 15th of May when Uranus went into Taurus and uh, Chiron went into Aries, and the last uh, full moon was that at Aldebaran and Taurus, if you remember, the beginning of uh, Gemini. So we have a circles here of very powerful new moon and, and full moons. And also it's coming up solar eclipse, the solstice soon, and Neptune going retrograde and Venus conjuncting the North Node, etc. It's so much will happen this year. So much is happening now because this is the manifestation time. And we have the moon coming up the 14th to oppose Saturn and the 15th to, to with fixed star Sirius to oppose Pluto here. And moon coming up to 20 degrees of uh, cancer in opposition to 20 degrees of Capricorn. That's the cosmic eye. That's uh, the image, you know, that I have been shown, the origin of the humanity. And there will be, at that one, will be the next new moon will be exactly there, 20 degrees of Cancer, Capricorn, and that's also the Pluto or planetary south and north node, what we are heading for. So this is ascension, this is going on and on and on. Be kind to yourself, create that love that will give so much back. Bye bye.